Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here, and today I'm proud to release Tactical Arena, a personal project of mine that I've had in the works for a long time. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check the link down in the description for the trailer I made a while ago. I had this ready for a while now, but I wanted to wait after the first Halo Infinite flight to release it. Many I different alterations and changes were made over time with Tactical Arena, and while I had this idea of a hybrid Halo experience in Halo 5, some settings you'll see here were inspired from Mythic Arena. Speaking of Mythic Arena, I'd like to thank some of the people who worked on that. Randy355, who works at 343 on the Halo 5 Sustain team. Who's Blaze, who used to work at 343, but some may know now that he works at 1047 Games, as lead des level designer on Splitgate, which is pretty cool. Hex Reaper, Sergeant Slaphead, Cheapbox V2, Soul Flame, Harry McClary, and Max Dies. Thank you guys for making Mythic Arena and bringing it to matchmaking in Halo 5, even though it's not there too often anymore. I really enjoyed that, and I wanted to bring that experience to Halo 5 maps, because Mythic Arena uses its own set of Forge maps that works perfectly with its settings. Big disclaimer, if you enjoy Halo 5 as it is today, then chances are this experience isn't for you. I made this with some inspiration from Mythic Arena to try and bridge the gap between people who enjoy Halo 4 and 5, as well as people who enjoy Halo CE, 2, 3, and Reach. I wanted to create a new hybrid experience for everyone to enjoy while we wait for Halo Infinite. But before I go any further, let's get a few things out of the way. There is no ground pound, no charge, no sprint, and no slide. I'm going to break down Tactical Arena and show you guys what to expect. If you want to jump right in and play what I made, type in my gamertag, Wrath, same as my YouTube channel, then go to my files, and you should see the word TAC on the maps and game types I set up. Now with all that being said, let's begin. First, let's start off with player settings, specifically shields and health. Assassination! First strike! minutes remain. Here are the starting weapons for Tactical Arena. Tactical Arena Hardcore Settings. Yes, that's correct. I made competitive settings for my game type. That includes no radar, no splinters, and no autos. Um, if you want to play the 
sort of the competitive settings for my game type, just look for the acronym HC when you're searching up my game types or map selection. Some more information I'd like to provide on the game types is that on Slayer, the, re uh, the respawn time has been reverted back to 5 seconds rather than Halo 5's 8 seconds. And for objective game types such as Capture the Flag, Stronghold, and Oddball, they've been uh, reverted back to the classic 10 seconds for objective rather than 8 seconds. Lastly, Free For All as well has been reverted back to 5 seconds rather than 8 seconds as well as unlimited scoring and no power weapons or power-ups. Next thing I'm going to talk about are the weapons, because Tactical Arena uses its own set of weapons and doesn't use the whole sloth of Halo 5 sandbox. So the assault rifle and SMG have been replaced with one automatic, the projection SMG. The battle rifle and magnum have been replaced with the Halo 2 battle rifle, because the original BER sucks ass, and thus that kind of renders the Halo 5 magnum kind of well, not necessary, and the Storm Rifle has been replaced with the Brute Plasma Rifle. The Energy Sword has been replaced with the Relic Sword, Railgun replaced with Grenade Launcher, Rocket Launcher replaced with the Classic Spanker, and Halo 5 Beam Rifle replaced with Halo 2 Beam Rifle. So here are the standard Tactical Arena Tier 1 slash loadout weapons, as well as their respawn times and their ammo capacity. Here are the tier 2 slash special weapons, as well as their ammo and respawn times. Here are the tier 3 slash power weapons of Tactical Arena. And finally, here are the power ups. Now that's basically all I have to say about Tactical Arena. Some other things you might notice, such as Eden and Regret, I tried to revert their lighting as they were in the beta. So I tried my best on those. As well as the scenery objects, including explosive barrels, are now kind of reverted like to back to Halo 2, in the sense where it's like, there's no respawn time on them. So whenever a barrel explodes, they're gone forever. And wherever a scenery object is moved, they stay there. I guess the last thing I should mention is I bought back a game type and set of maps to complete Tactical Arena. Breakout. Round one. Stay focused and roll out. A few things to mention about the settings is that, well, the Magnum is replaced with the Gunfighter Magnum, and the SMG is replaced with the Projection SMG. There is Radar, however, there is also a Hardcore variant, just like the, you know, like I mentioned before. So there'll be a Gunfighter Magnum only, no Splinters, and no Autos. And lastly, the, the most important change is that the Flag has been reverted to pushing the Flag to score rather than pulling. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Another thing to mention is that weapons on maps have one mag of decreased ammo. So basically every other weapon you pick up has like one magazine less than usual. So because the projection SMG and gunfighter magnum starts, well they, they do work and it does force some up close battles, that's also the thing. We don't have much range if we had the Halo 5 magnum. So that's why the ammo on weapon pickups is nerfed. Now from this point on, I'm just going to show you guys some maps and their significant changes that I've done. So enjoy that, and I'll see you at the end of the video.
And that's it for Tactical Arena guys, hopefully you guys enjoy, if you are, post a comment down below, and if you like what you saw today, leave a like, and share this video with anyone who would be interested in playing this. Until next time, peace.